Hey guys, welcome back to Trending Tens. Today we're going to be looking at child actors that put Nickelodeon on blast. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss any of our banger uploads. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. At number 10, Janet McCurdy. Janet McCurdy, a longtime Nickelodeon star, became the envy of the several aspiring child actors when she got a leading part on the sitcom iCarly. Given the popularity of that series, McCurdy continued to portray her character on a spin-off series called Sam and Cat which, despite its brief run, became a network mainstay. Things began to fall apart in 2014 when McCurdy was unable to attend the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. However, she never elaborated on the problem. Insiders told TMZ that the actress was at odds with the network about money, claiming that her co-star Ariana Grande was earning much more. At number 9, Alistair Gillis. Two years after the network's formal launch, it began broadcasting a series that would establish a model for all kid-friendly sitcoms to follow. You Can't Do That on Television was a comedy series show that centered on laughter and starred ordinary youngsters who went to normal school and had no experience in the industry. Alistair Gillis was one of these non-actors. Between 1982 and 1987, Gillis appeared on the show for five years. Gillis made many references to the show in his book Slimed, an oral history of Nickelodeon's golden age. In one section, he even dug into some of the pieces that didn't sit well with him. And number eight, Nat Wolf. Nat Wolf, the actor and musician renowned for his appearances in John Green's films The Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns, has earned his first Nickelodeon series, The Naked Brothers Band. Nat spoke about being on the Kids Network in a conversation with Vanity Fair in 2014. Though he loved his time on the program since it enabled him to interact with all of his real life best friends. He believes that some Nickelodeon shows are really poor, according to the reporter. The show terminated in 2009, when Nickelodeon and the Wolf family were unable to reach an agreement on the series' future. During the show's Zoom revival in 2020, Nat told Stylecaster that both he and Alex were open to the possibility of a Netflix special on the show. At number 7, Ariana Grande. On the Nickelodeon show Victorious and Sam and Cat, Ariana Grande played Cat Valentine, a lovely yet sassy high school girl with eye-catching red hair. Despite Grande's Nickelodeon tenure being a childhood dream come true, it was also a little frustrating since she was obligated to stay tied to a persona that was nothing like herself, she told people in 2014. There have been numerous reports throughout the years regarding alleged rivalries involving Ariana and her victorious co-star Victoria, along with the claims about the Sam and Cat behind the scenes conflict. Ariana sent a lengthy, passionate letter on Facebook when the TV show was finally canceled, but she complimented everybody engaged, apart from McCurdy, according to The Hollywood Reporter. At number 6, Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn, Britney Spears' youngest sister, had a popular Nickelodeon program called Zoe 101. Jamie Lynn portrayed the main heroine, who lived an innocent life at a fancy boarding school, primarily unattended and distant from her parents. However, Jamie was not that naive in her real life. When she became pregnant at the age of 16, she created quite a sensation. The program was quickly canceled by Nickelodeon. She's now married and begun a journey in country music. At number 5, Amanda Vines. Amanda Vines was among the headliners of Nickelodeon's comedy series All That when she first started working with them. She then earned her program, The Amanda Show, and established herself as an overflowing celebrity. As Vines grew older, though, things began to take a strange turn for the young teen idol. She had a huge Twitter breakdown in 2013 since she last retired, then unretired from performing. After setting fire to a random person's driveway, Bynes was transported to a hospital for psychiatric examination. Since her return from rehab, she seems to be doing much better. At number 4, Matthew Underwood. Starring Matthew Underwood, who portrayed the nuisance on the TV show Zoe 101, got himself into some real-life trouble in 2012. When authorities investigated his residence, they discovered marijuana and drug paraphernalia. He was also discovered doing something bad during the search. He was 22 years old at the time. He was detained outside a cigar shop he operated a few months later for breaking his probation. Although he should have received harsher consequences, he appears to be doing okay. He even saved someone's life after discovering a newborn in the care of two parents who may have overdosed. Since then, he's managed to keep out of the news. At number 3, Ryan Rotman. Ryan Rotman rose to prominence after portraying Joey Colvin in the next series, Gigantic. Ryan's work with the network also did lead to a budding romance between Rotman and Victoria's star Victoria Justice. Rotman got himself into trouble once their relationship ended when cops saw his automobile leaping a barrier and hauled him inside. He was arrested and brought to jail, but he was eventually freed. At number 2, Emma Roberts. Julia Roberts' niece starred as the main character in the 2004 series Unfabulous, which ran for three years on Nick. Though her acting career flourished after the series wrapped, she got attention for a different reason in July of 2013. She was arrested for domestic violence against her boyfriend, Evan Peters, who reportedly had a bloody nose and bite marks when police were called about a domestic dispute. The two later reconciled, got engaged, and then broke up again. And at number one, 
Drake Bell. On the networks, Drake and Josh, Drake Bell portrayed the heartthrob character. After the program ended in 2008, he had a modestly successful musical journey, but that wasn't enough to finance his extravagant lifestyle. He went bankrupt in 2014 while he was just 26, saying that his monthly costs were approximately $3,000 while they were actually about $19,000. He currently makes headlines for his habits to criticize Justin Bieber on Twitter, and he's also committed a couple of crimes. Well guys, thank you so much for making it to the end. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to TTA, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.